The tracker feature offers many simple but powerful ways to visualize your data. Let's take a look at them. On the main screen, switch to the Home tab, Tracker, and then tap the tracker to open it. Then switch to Statistics tab. The default range is the last 30 days. You can tap the Next or Previous button to switch between ranges. Let's select the range to all time. On the calendar, you can see that only the months with data show up. Tap a calendar cell to view data of that date. Tap the list button on the top right corner to view the records on the timeline. Tap the filter button to only display data for set of certain fields. Select the input fields you want to view. Tap Done. Now the calendar only show data for these input fields. You can toggle the fields to limit the selections even further. Tap the View on Table button to view the data in table format. Here you can sort the rows by dates or by a certain column. Long press a row to view its data on the timeline. To reorder the columns, tap the menu button, tap reorder columns. Now back to the statistics view. Next to the calendar section is summary section where you can quickly see the summary for an input field or a set of input fields. The summary can be the max, min, latest, or average value of a certain input field, or the sum of a set of input fields within the statistics range. Tap the Add Summary button to set up a summary. Pick a summary type. Set the input field. Tap Add to add the summary. Next to the Summary section is the Charts section where you can set up custom charts. To add a new chart, tap the Add Chart button. There are four types of chart, line chart, bar chart, pie chart, and calendar chart. Let's create a line chart. On the Edit Chart screen, you can set the title and set the chart series. A line chart can have multiple chart series, each for an input field or sum of a set of input fields. To add a chart series, tap the Add Series button. Let's pick the series type as Single Quantity or Selection Field. Pick an input field. In the Edit Chart Series screen you can customize the series if needed. Tap Save to add the series. You can add as many chart series as you want.
Tap the Add button to finish setting up the chart. Now the newly created chart is available to view. You can toggle the chart series. Tap spots on the chart to view corresponding data. Tap the list button on the right top corner to view the data on the timeline. Tap the Statistics Range button on the top of the screen to change the range of data. Tap the Table button to view the data in table format. That's an overview of how to visualize your tracker data. Please check the written guide in the description to learn more. Feel free to comment below if you have any question. Happy journaling!